Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How To with Be Rethinker. Today we will be playing with the IPP or Internet Printing Protocol. We'll start in 10 seconds. As always, before we begin with today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And now, let's get started with the video. As more and more of us have started to work from home in the last couple of months or a year, our habits and also how we use our equipment has also changed. For me, we haven't been using printer that much internally inside home, but since the homeschooling began, or online school, how we like to call it, more and more things needed to be printed for the kids to work on, for example, exams or assignments. So also my cartridges have started to drop low. One of the great things is that Home Assistant allows you to integrate any printer, Ethernet or Wi-Fi that supports IPP or Internet Printing Protocol. And what Internet Printing Protocol is, this is a standard for most of the wired or networked printers to let's call it like that, give their status and details about themselves to other network devices for management purposes. Here, in this integration, we'll be pulling this information to our home assistant, create a couple of sensors, and later on, based on those sensors, we'll be creating automation that will warn us when the ink levels drop low, so that we can order some more supplies. So let's get started. In order for us to add IPP or Internet Printing Protocol printer, there are a couple of ways. Of course, the easiest way is to go to notifications and check if the device itself has been discovered or not. And yes, my printer has been discovered here. If I wouldn't receive this notification of discovery, I would have to go to Add Integration, type here Print for Printing. Select Internet Printing Protocol, type here the IP address and just submit. But since my printer has been discovered, we can simply press here Configure. Submit. Select where the printer is located and press Finish. You should now see here your device or printer added. Depending on how many printers you have in your network, you will see one or more devices. And this device has five entities. One entity is not visible and this entity is used to show when the printer is online or how long was the printer online. Let me enable it, update. And now we have six entities from the printer. One is general information about the printer. It should be either idle, when the printer is of course idle, or printing, when the printer is printing. Unfortunately, uh, during my test and use of this integration, I haven't received any other notification except idle, but this also depends on how you are printing. Are you using one protocol or the other? Is the printer directly connected or not? And also, depending on how fast the updates are coming from the printer to the Home Assistant. Let's add this to Lovelace. And this is it. Let's now go to Overview, Fun Stuff. And here is all the information we get from the printer. So as I said, one is the idle. We can see here the information about the printer. Serial number, location, location can be specified in the configuration of the printer, state message, state reason, command sets that the printer is using, and also the address of the printer. So IPP 192.168.1.240 slash IPP slash print. Here you can see the status of the ink cartridges. As you can see, I've printed something and it dropped down. And this is the status of the uptime.
Okay, now that we have printer added, the question is what you can do with this. In my setup, what I did is I created notifications for when the ink drops below a certain percentage. Depending on how fast you can get your ink or how fast you need it, you can set this to be either 20 or 30%. Also, please note that this is a rough estimate of the ink inside the ink cartridge. I have set it up in my setup at 30%, meaning that when the ink falls to 30%, I will get the notification. And how can you create this notification? Well, as I said, it depends on your printer. Is it a black and white? Is it an inkjet? Is it other type of a printer? But the basics are the same. Go to configuration, automations, add automation. We can skip this. Here we will select a numeric state. And here you have to select what entity you want to track. Black, black ink, when it drops below, let's say 25. Of course, you can add multiple trigger or multiple entities. This can be done like this. Cyan. Magenta. And yellow. The next thing that you can do is set a trigger or a condition. I've seen that I think Carlos has created one that is triggered only on weekends, on Saturday, so that he is sure that he is at home currently. So this can be a condition, time, on Saturday. And the last part of this automation would be what action you want to take. So we can use persistent notification. And set this to be, I don't know, title. Ink low. Message. And I'll paste here the message I have created because it uses friendly names and makes a prettier message. It gives you the name of the ink cartridge and the status of the cartridge itself. And you can save it now. Let's not forget to name it. Ink low. Save. Back. And we now have automation that will warn us when the ink drops below a certain percentage. For the test purposes, I will just tweak something here to make automation trigger. And as you can see, we now receive the notification. If we open it, we see that we got reminded or warned that ink is low for our printer. And this is for the black cartridge. The other options you have here is also to create a persistent notification with the web link that will take you to the shop where you can order the ink, etc. What are some other options that you can do with this integration? You can also track the uptime status. This should give you warning that the, when the printer is available or not. You can track the idle status because you want to have this as idle, meaning that printer is available for printing. If it changes to unavailable or something else, you can get a notification, you can send yourself notification that the printer is offline, so you can go and fix that. And this is it for this IPP integration inside Home Assistant video. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it means a lot based on the YouTube algorithms. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any other video I already made, you can leave comment on the Discord server, but feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future videos. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.